What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So, to round off where we left off, we were attacking the city of Satara. And the reason why I'm doing it manually is because I do not want to lose as many men as is necessary to knock out, or to capture the city and knock out the mortars. So let's attack. Trouble is, they have lots, so even if I knock lots of holes in the wall, they'll still be able to block them with powerful foot units, or still dangerous foot units. So I think the, I think the bulk of Martelli is going to go to the front to knock a few holes in the wall to spread their line infantry out, and then I might even put one battery on the onto the, the left and rush my cavalry in around before the assault. That would be a good position. Where we get some good shots on there. And their artillery from up here. Like you might be able to see up and over onto the mortars, maybe. Okay, so then this lone gun, I want you to come back here. To put a hole into this wall. Let's give you the marines and the guards and the regular line infantry. These guys are going to be enough to cover the front. Got some cavalry support. Good. Oh my howitzer's hitting. Which I might get my gunners to hit this section here. Then my howitzers go to work in the centre. Getting lots of really good kills here. So I want to fire these guys because they are plinking at my mortars. And they can fire that section of the wall. So another round of mortar shots going in. The mortars are actually moving up. So because they're moving their mortars, let's, let's see if they will actually target the mortars, because they might have a line of sight. Nope. Let's see if they can fire in the centre general. They can. So these guys continue to make the breach. Oh, one gun. Okay, so let's keep using our howitzers to... Keep using our howitzers to hit this central block. But when we get ready to move, we've got to be ready to move. To be honest, I'm tempted to move now. Come on, round shot guards. I don't get why you're not. You hitting the wall as well. To so stop this gun from firing as the troops negotiate around the wall. Come on, howitzers. Get some good shots off. You, you must actually go. They are firing. They're targeting someone else. They're targeting them. Okay, let's 
spread the line. Get the line in position. Good, with a lot of them killed. Here they are. They're ignoring me and going for whatever they like. Ooh, they can carcass shot the mortars, which is nice. So we've already managed to kill 27 marines, 10% of the unit. Who am I kidding? Auto resolve would have been the cheapest way to do this. seemingly still don't want to carcass shot anything I want them to do. Let's see if we can snipe the gate. Making holes in the wall to spread them out. So the mortars have just gone rogue. So we're going to take the wall. Lots of our troops are going to be actually trying to climb over it. One unit will be in. But the trouble is, is we know how this game can be when it comes to actually trying to... Actually trying to, um... Do what you want it to do. their mortars aren't doing anything, that no one's doing anything. I mean, it is a bit funky that this has happened. comes bloodbath troops up inside. Let's get my heavy cavalry down here. Let's get them in. Okay, the how you need to stop.
Oh god, if you can break... Break the dervishes. Get the marines into the pikes. If you can break the dervishes, that would be lovely. Go after the mortars. Send these guys on a bit of a, not a suicide mission, but just run around the flank and start hitting the pikes from the rear. So the pikes are starting to lose, although we've, we're running out of men. Mortars, get the mountain troops in the house. These guys go here. I mean, all my guns now focus on them. Attack the city from the rear. That's my marines. They're doing a good job. Don't engage the general's bodyguard. <laughs> so I want just to <laughs> clean cut them, effectively. Or on these guys. Lots of fratricide here. Good. <laughs> See that? I, w I was holding my breath there for a minute because, uh, you know, I thought the mortars might just cause a mass rout. Let's end it there. It's a good victory. The tally. It probably would. It was probably bloodier than if I had just let them let the auto resolve work. Fun, fun. But Satara is ours, so let's immediately get on replenishment. Uh, trouble is, so in, in Rome 1, I was obsessed with, I take the territory, demolish all the culturally old, for the want of a better word, buildings, and then I'd rebuild my own, but... I think if we're not down the school, that will help significantly. When everyone's repaired, when everything everything is repaired, that'll be quite good. Ugh, two mortars and no siri. You can't move. I doubt as well covered. So this is going to be a giant battle wherever this is. Hopefully. Ooh, I could do with you having a bit of support. But to be honest, everyone's going to be well supported. That's a big block of Indian troops. Yep, you're being destroyed, so don't worry. Four turns to a quick climb. So let's send the heavy cavalry down to get their ships out of port. Good. So let's get the heavy cavalry back. So it means that my ships can now combine with that of another fleet. Good stuff. Infrastructure's still good. A lot of strong artillery is moving out. You're still replenishing. Everything's still good. Well, let's just recruit some more. Well, actually, let's do... Okay, so let's group. Well, let's get ready to break up some of these troops to help support keeping others alive. Let's pull those fusiliers out. Keep the guns up together. All my regular line infantry is maxed out. Let's swap two out for you. Everyone else seems pretty good, more or less. I mean, the artillery's a bit weak, but not a lot we can do about that. 
Let's fix the plantation and the weaver's cottage, which we broke. Cool. Let's get this fifth up here to join this navy. Good. Are they suffering any problems from bankruptcy? Devastation by armies. A bit, but not really bankruptcy. Let's recruit some artillery to ship over to the continent. So once we've broken the Mughals, we'll come back and take Mysore. For now, we're still friendly because we gave them some some presents. Uh, no, try. Try kill the general. Then it's hit and turn. French fleet gathers. If I gather enough, st enough strength in India, I would like to just dominate the East Indies trade theatre. I'll then have a monopoly on spices. I think I've got the territories in Brazil. One second. There we go. Sorry for that, everyone. Um, but that was a good battle. So let's see. This is it's if, if the Mughals let me intercept. Ooh, okay, them really orientating to the east to defend Katak. Okay, I don't quite get how that's happened, but we'll absolutely intercept them because that's a really poor army to attack a city with, and we won't even need the reinforcements. Like, I don't know how they attacked the fort, got out the fort, ran past it, but we'll definitely do it. Let's intercept at Hyderabad. Because they got one gun, lots of chaff. I mean, it's not gonna not gonna get in. Even if they do get in, a formidable kill box. And they won't be able to escape. Especially as lots of their good units, like saw all their dervishes and whatnot, the general especially were attrited quite significantly to destroy one of their armies. One of their armies in such a critical region as well. Okay, so start outside and work, drag towards the gate. Seems to be the way to do it. These are our reserves with some marines. So let's keep them a bit further back out of range. Let's drop the houses further up. General will keep him safe. Oh, God alive! No, I don't want any reinforcements. You run away. The cavalry, maybe. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's group all of my true army together. I don't want reinforcements to, to come in at all. Except for maybe these. Because this is towards their was the rear area. So you go away, you go away. The first light horse. No. Anything that's damaged, I'm not bothered about. Okay, they've reached the wall. Run them up and hit the guns. Okay, no. This, this artillery is just gonna flee. 
Like, look, they want to kill these armies as they come in. So if anything, I might have to keep some of them here. I'm sorry I'm not covering the siege very much, but everywhere else is the problem. <laughs> You just stay where you are. Send them to engage the armies coming in. You guys just hold where you are. Ride for ruin! Let's halt fire at will with them and allow them to do the job. Wait a minute, they've got in! That's a spy! All of you. You think you're so clever. Come on, run around. Run around the flank. These arts is to snipe at the elephants. Okay, now you guys spin around and hit the levee. Oh, too late. Good run, 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 run. No pikemen getting sneaky kills for you. Although they're still shooting at my general. How nice, these guys are going to run up through my troops to route. So, like, as they come up, they're going to be accosted by my troops. Let's get my cavalry just over here. Kill those pikemen or make them rout, that would be perfect. These 
these poor souls. Such defeat in all areas. Look how it's just still plinking shots at the general. I think there's everyone. So let's bring. Let's bring out the general to play. Good, that is enemy general killed. Phew, for a minute I thought it might be friendly. A nice opportunity to chew up a Maratha force. They've only got 500 men remaining. Too bad they've routed an annoying direction. Oh. Oh, we are defending the siege from Katak. So you want to st deploy back. <laughs> deploy. We know what happens when. We know what happens when. Okay, deploy back. Let's put our Indian troops in the center. left in case we do have to run towards them. House is ready to fire round shots. So where are their mortars? Damn they are they are well within range. Okay, infantry. You know what this means? Move them up. Send our cavalry to go beat these camel gunners. In which case, let's camels on the flank. So we've got to get ready to turn that, make them form square. Yeah, they're just camel gunners, so they might not even charge. On, all of you versus two versus <laughs> a slew of camels. Smash onwards into the Sikh warriors. running around through the Sikh warriors. Flank them around. So that's, you know, cavalry gone, camel gunners are there. Do not like the fact there are Gurkhas coming. Let's target my artillery into different onto different positions now because we've got cavalry going in to deal with the mortars. For artillery hit that unit of Sigma Musketeers, I suppose. Good. Go after the last garrison of mortars. Yeah, they're sending all their levy in to try to stop me. 
Oh, a lot of fratricide from that carcass shot. My men are not going to last against those Gurkhas. Fortunately, Grenadiers are out on that flank, but... These guys are done for, they're not going to beat the Gurkhas. So let's pivot the line. Their job is to hold them up and do as much damage as they can. Good, those musketeers are shattered, so let's go hit the armed populace. Seek warriors are in, so let's charge them with more troops. They are Indian mercenaries, so they're not the best. Focus. Where was that artillery going? Okay, let's start to pivot the line. Here, actually, one of you come back here and hit that Seek Warrior unit. Both of you, actually, it looks like it might be a bit dicey on that flank. Firing to the back of the Sepoys, Gurk has been knocked down by a lot of troops. Nope, let's keep my troops on the go. Sepoys are broke. But the next unit, if the Gurkhas want to charge on, is Grenadiers. Squares because the camel gunner's coming in. Should be able to break the Sikh warriors. So we had to form square. Well, form square to hit the cannons, to hit, to hit the camels. Potential fortress fresh side there. Focus fire that unit of garrison musketmen. They're a bit strong. Commit these Indian mercenaries into the battle against the levy. Okay, so you need to straighten out. Push on to beat that flank. You guys split up and look this way. Company of infantry have routed. Form square. He might come back. Dragoons chase him down. He's got mercenaries ready to fire some volleys into that unit of, of um, dervishes coming in. Keep asking to form square. You guys form up here again. Okay, let's get the cavalry ready to go support the dervishes. You're enough to beat that unit of six musketeers, I hope. into the Gurkhas on the flank. Not many men, but it's enough. There you go. The dervishes. Commit the general. Oh, 
Bit of fratricide there. Charge in. Good stuff. Okay, let's just turn off all my artillery now. Let's run a unit of light dragoons on because one of them can continue. Absolutely continue. I just think I'd want them to take on the Gurkhas. So let's speed up time. Get those to fire at will to mow them down a bit and to shepherd them to the left. Charge them down, fire will off. Come on, General. Take out the last of the Gurkhas. Good stuff. Go on to the garrison. Oh no, that was the so that was a unit of cavalry chasing down those troops. General's doing okay. You're doing very well. Good, got them. So go help the general. Okay, everyone go help the general now. Not that they're going to kill them all, because they managed to do the successful scatter technique. Not that it matters, there's only 22 of them, so on the campaign map we should hopefully have done a lot of good damage. Especially if pathfinding is really funky come on lads I mean they're everywhere <laughs> so you're not gonna kill them all but meh doesn't mean you can't doesn't mean you stop trying so we've got a handful after these chaps GG. There they go. <laughs> Close victory. Yeah, that was a bit dodgy. Especially the right flank. Yeah. Yeah, still a good ratio. But there are armies moving up to the east, so we can't exactly afford to sit and watch watch that go on forever. to intercept. I don't know who that is. Frederick Carlson, is that you on the bridge? I think it might be them on the bridge. Because no no one else can. Cool, bridge battle. But, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the, hopefully the destruction of another Maratha troop army. Delicious. Cheers everyone.